data from one student who did the estimated fish population activity and you can see the different estimations based on the sample size. So first we have a sample size that's less than 30, then fish, and then our second sample they caught between 40 and 60 fish, and then they caught between 65 and 85 fish, then between 90 and 110 and so forth and so on. You can see how the estimations are changing based on the number of fish they caught in their small tank. Now if you didn't do the activity last week this information will be a little bit confusing but at least we can practice building a box plot. So if I want to build a box plot for the estimated population data, how would I do that? Selena, we're practicing building a box plot from data. So you guys can either turn your mic on to answer or you can type. How am I going to construct a box plot for the estimated population of fish data? Find mean, median, okay. Do Theodore, let's ask the class, do we need to find the mean in order to construct a box plot? Do we need the mean? Okay. No, so before we can find the median, lower quartile, upper quartile, minimum, maximum, what do we need to do? Okay, so let's order the data. Okay, we ordered our data. Now what? What's our next step? Find the median. Okay, so we're looking to find the Median. Now I'm hearing that some students are, are saying we have to do something with both of these numbers, uh, 275 and 283. I read that they want me to add 275 and 283 and find the average of these two numbers, which is 279. So now we have our median, lower quartile, upper quartile. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna look at the uh, the lower quartile. So what is the value of the lower quartile? Two hundred and five. Yeah, that's correct. It's the number in the middle of our lower half of the data. So it's two hundred and five. And how about the value of our upper quartile? Three fifteen. Is this all the information we need to make a box plot? Wow. 
What else do we need? Minimum, maximum, okay. Okay, how are we gonna choose a scale for our number line, for our box plot? Does anyone have an idea of how we can choose a scale for the number line for our box plot? Again, you can turn your mic on to talk, that'd be fantastic as well. Does anyone have an idea of how we would possibly choose a scale looking at this information uh, and our data? Just go from 100 to 200? Is that going to capture everything if we just go from 100 to 200? So what's the lowest that we need to go? What's our minimum? 185 so maybe we start out at like 180 and now we have to think about our scale so 180 yeah Jim you're right 180 to 5 to 575 so do you guys think we should count by fives why not count by fives why would that not be okay or not a good idea to count by fives too many numbers in between yeah take too long so what should we count by 20, 25, 20s, 25, 100. Now, should we count by 100? Well, why not count by something as large as 100? Too inaccurate. Why do I only see boys typing in and no girls' names popping up? Okay, so we're going to count by 20s. 200, 220, 580, 600, 620. Notice how I don't put a number under each tick mark because it would be too crowded, so I just put them under some of them as I'm going. And then we can start to plot our data. So we'll put our minimum down, which is 185. Our lower quartile is 205. Our median is 279. It's always a good habit to write down your values so that you don't have to think about them if they don't line up perfectly with your number line. It makes it easier for analysis later.
All right, what questions as a mathematician should we be asking ourselves right now? What questions might come to mind that we would we might consider before moving on with our analysis? I want you guys to come up with some questions. What questions might a mathematician ask right now after constructing this box plot? What questions might a mathematician ask after constructing this box plot? Why is there such a gap between the upper quartile and the maximum? Yeah, why is there such a big gap between the upper quartile and the maximum? Does anybody, anyone have an idea of why that might have happened? Why the 575 is so much further away from the rest of our data? Like it's so spread out there. Does anyone have a reason why that might have happened? Data super varied from the least accurate data. Can someone else besides Theodore add on to what he means by... 575 is the least accurate data, so I want someone else besides Theodore to try to add on to what he means by the 575 being the least accurate data. So, Sean, why is it far away? That's the next question. So, yeah, we see it's far away from the IQR and from the median and the upper quartile. Why did that happen, though, Justin? Why did it, why did it end up that way? Where did the 575 come from in our data? How did we get it when we were capturing the fish? Well, how did this student get it when they were capturing the fish? Their sample size was less than 30. Yeah, look, if we, our 575 came from a sample size that was less than 30. Why is it important to note that, that it came from a sample size that was less than 30? Why is that important note for us? Something to think about. Why do we think this small sample size created data that was unlike the rest of the data? Do we have any ideas why we think this small sample size of less than 30 fish created the weirdest data. Like, why wasn't it the larger sample sizes that created the weird data, but the smallest sample size that created the weird data? I am waiting for some response or someone to ask a clarifying question. Maybe because we had to scale much more the rest of the data so it's less accurate. Yeah, we had to scale up more, right? We took a really small sample, so we're relying on our ratio a lot more than we choose a large sample. That's a good point. Anyone add on another idea? That was a really good idea. That's absolutely true. We had to scale up more because we had such a small sample, so maybe by scaling up too much, we're, we're not as accurate. Why else might a small sample size produce less accurate data? Think about when we do a survey or think about when we talk, you're relying on chance. Yeah, you're relying on chance, good, right? You're relying on how many fish you catch. So is it better to catch a small amount of fish for your, your experiment or catch a large amount of fish? The population is too small, good. If we, 
a bigger sample gives better data. That's absolutely true. Big amount. So if we have a bigger sample, we'll get better data. And can't be, yeah, exactly, Kevin. You can't be surveyed accurately for only collecting small amounts of data. So the, if you notice now, look, look at the difference. If we go to our largest sample size, right, 275 fish, look where the 275 falls in our box plot. Does anyone notice where the 275 falls for our largest sample? Very close. Yeah, exactly, Kevin. Very close to the median. So our large samples are giving us more accurate data or better estimations, and our small sample is giving us less accurate estimations. Something for us to think about as we do our own experiment later. Do we have any other questions before we kind of move on and you guys get to your own work in your Google Doc? So what you're going to be doing today is you're going to take a you're going to do this on a piece of paper with your own data, your own data. If you did not collect data, you can use one, one of the three sample students I posted. Then you will do a short write-up of your final estimation for the number of fish. You might also want to calculate the average. The average could be helpful for figuring out your final estimation. So the average for this data is 306 and a third fish. So that might also be helpful if we're coming up with our final estimation for the number of fish in the pond. Um, so again, you're going to do this work on a piece of paper. You're going to take a picture of it, upload it to that document of Google Classroom, and then you're going to do a small write-up where you tell me what your final estimation is for the number of fish based on all of your analysis, as well as one of the other questions I posted about sample size.